first thing I like to do for these types of haircuts where the top is gonna be so much longer than the sides is disconnect it. I'm gonna disconnect the top from the sides right at the parietal ridge. I'm gonna remove some bulk from the sides now using my clipper over comb technique. This will allow me to pass my clippers with more ease when I begin my fading process. begin my fade with a zero which is my clipper with a closed lever I'm gonna go ahead and keep my zero as low as possible around the ear so that way I have as much room to blend as possible same thing we did on the other side we're gonna separate it right along the parietal ridge we're gonna remove the bulk from the sides and we're gonna go ahead and mark our zero number two to remove some bulk and also make a new guideline. Here I'm blending that remaining long hair that I have on the sides into that two that I just passed. Also make sure to angle out your comb when using this technique. Notice that I left bulks of hair around the crown and along the sides. I did this so that when I drop the hair on top, I can blend it into the sides. Begin to fade this line out by opening up your lever a little bit at a time, working your way all the way up to a half. Make sure not to take it too high though, and then you work your way up the guards. Pass my clipper over comb this area just one more time to eliminate that leftover bulk. The trimmer here will take the hair just a tad bit shorter, getting it closer to skin. Make sure to always flick out when you're doing this technique. So now I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the steps that I did on the right side and I'm going to do them on the left side as well.
So my client wants to change his hairstyle a bit. He told me he wants to start combing it back. He wants to be able to comb it to the sides and he wants more of a traditional pompadour style look. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wet the hair and I'm gonna begin to cut it with the shears to achieve the look that he wants. What I'm doing here is slowly introducing the top hair into the side hair so I can begin to blend it. In this hairstyle, I like to layer the hair by cutting it shorter and shorter as I make my way towards the back of the head. This technique here is used to remove bulk and add a texture to the hair. So unfortunately I didn't get to record the blow drying but I do always blow dry the hair before styling it to get the hair in a position that I want it to be and also to remove all the extra hair that might be laying in the head from the haircut. So then I like to put a little bit of pomade after I've dried it Use my comb and spread that pomade through the hair and leaving it nice and fresh.